Hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really good today. I'm Margaret Murray and welcome to my channel. So what I'm going to do for this video is a little comparison. So what I have is the Becca Brightening Under Eye Corrector and I also have some NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector and they're about the same shade as you can see. So I'm going to pit these two against each other and see what they do. Now let's first talk about under eye correcting. So what you want to do is you want to see what color basically your under eye circles are. If they're blue like mine are, you're going to want to use something like an apricot or a peach base depending on how dark the blue is. And what I'm going to do is put up the color wheel so you can see. So you can use this and see, just see what color your circles are. What is the prominent color and then you go to the opposite color on the color wheel and that is what you're going to want to put down first to correct it. Now there is a difference between concealers and correctors. Concealers they would go like over a corrector. You wouldn't want to just use a corrector and then leave it like that. That's just not going to match your skin. It's going to look strange but the idea is you put the corrector on there which neutralizes the color of the dark circle under your eye and then you're going to put a concealer over that and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Why don't we start with some information about this Becca Brightening Under Eye Concealer first. I took some notes of course and I wanted to read to you all the Becca claims that they have for their $32 under eye brightening. Yes, this for a full size one of these it's going to cost you $32. So here are the claims that it makes. Becca's full coverage color corrector under eye concealer uses light to brighten dark under eye circles. The backlight technology uses and infuses peach and apricot toned color correctors with light reflecting illuminators that deflect light away from dark circles under the eyes. So it has vitamin E, which nourishes while the flexible color corrector cream soothes skin around the eyes and creates an even base for concealer. This product is vegan, Becca is cruelty free, PETA certified, no animal byproducts, no parabens, no sulfates, phthalates, alcohol, and artificial fragrance. So this is made really, really well. Now let's talk about the NYX. Let's see what the claims of the NYX makes. Now this is $4.99. So right away there's a huge difference in the price. This NYX is extremely affordable. Okay, let's see what it says. It says that NYX is enriched with coconut oil to provide intensive moisture. It provides the ultimate coverage without looking cakey. Vegan formula, no animal byproducts, cruelty free. And it says this concealer glides on without looking too thick or too obvious and ensures no caking. It's formulated without phthalates, propyl paraben, butyl paraben, sodium laurel. That is the claims that these both make. So let's try them both out and just see for ourselves which one is going to do better. And I'm going to start with the Becca. Okay, so I'm dipping this brush into the Becca, just at the tips. Get like that much on or so. Okay, let's come in close. And as you can see, yes, these are bluish. So I want to get it right in the corner. And I like to use a brush so I can get it precisely where I want it. So so far it's going on really nicely. It looks like it's covering up a bit. It looks like it's canceled out the blue. You see the blue there? You don't see the blue there so much. Put just a little up there then I'll go ahead and bring it out all the way to the end okay so here to the other side I don't see any more of the blue but we're not going to leave it like that let's put some concealer over it all right I chose for my concealer this it cosmetics bye bye under eye and I'm going to put some on my handy ring, like so. Okay, get some on there like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use my finger for this. Okay, 
Now let's just dot right over the top of that concealer. Bring it to about there, and I'm going to bring it all the way up here. Okay, so far it looks like it has canceled out this really well. See this side, you can really compare that side. So far so good with the Becca. Okay, using a different brush, let's give the NYX a little try here and see what it does. All right, so I'm gonna take a different brush altogether and we're gonna get some of this NYX concealer in there. About the same amount as we used with the Becca. All right, so let's start with right where we see the blue. Let's just pat it right on over that. So far, it looks like it covered it up really well. I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference between the Becca coverage and the NYX coverage. Do you? Let me know what you think. So far, I don't see a whole lot of difference. It covered it really well. Do I see any of the blue popping through? No, I do not. Okay, now let's go over the top of that with some of this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which I've way too much on there. Okay, let's just pop this right on the top. Now, so far they look about the same. Let's see what they do with the concealer on top. I'm trying to see like some kind of huge difference. I mean, Five dollars compared to thirty-two dollars. <laughs> Look at that! Wow. I would say that the NYX did just as good a job as the Beckett, if not a little better. I mean, is this just me? Am I losing my mind here, or what? This side, to me, I can't see. Oh, here, let me blend that out a little better. But I can't see any difference I in fact it looks a little better I still see a little blue up in here which not as much up here. more of the concealer over it but honestly I don't see a difference between these two correctors not at all Wow <laughs> I'm a little blown away there's no difference <laughs> virtually no difference Wow. Ah, okay, wow, that, that's surprising to me. You know, you expect that products that cost a lot of money, that they're gonna perform better than cheaper products. That is, obviously, that's just not the case. That's just not always true. Wow. Uh, a little powder on there, too. Put some powder on this side, too. Hmm. Wow. All right, well, there you have it. It, it. There's no difference. There's virtually, to me, what from what I can see, there is no difference in these concealers, except for the price. Except for the price, that's it. All right, so, well, there you have it, folks. The results are in. I'm gonna come in really super close and just to make one more quick sweep, so you can see there's virtually no difference. In fact, I think the NYX did better, but okay, here we go. NYX. And all pricey Becca. Um, I definitely recommend this. Um, if you need a little bit of a darker shade, you can, there are darker shades. I'm gonna put the shade ranges right here for you to see. Those are all the shades that you can get in the NYX. And now over here, I'm gonna put the only other shade that they have for the Becca. So you even get more of a choice with the NYX. This is wow. awesome. For, you know, for way, way, way cheaper, you can get just as good a product. I think it did just maybe a little better, but there you go. All right, so that is the end of this video. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.
And until the next video, you all take care. Bye-bye.